didn't really drift anywhere to the to the middle of the lake. <sighs> I'm tired, but still excited to have done another three days on redfish. Stretch. And yeah, tired. I sleep about less than half a night each night. Much less. And it's not a very deep sleep. So we're out the boat. Um, I think it's because I'm sleeping in 10 degrees weather. So I'm just wearing way too much, bundled up way too much, so I can't breathe or move. Hopefully, my next stop is the Flaming Gorge in Wyoming. So it should be about 40 degrees at night, so I can wear about half of what I'm wearing right now. Move around. Yeah, if I can improve the amount of sleep I get, um, I think this boat probably has a good shot at the inside passage up in Alaska. Got to improve the amount of sleep I get and got to be able to row for four or five hours a day without getting sore. And be able to fit a whole hell of a lot of food in here. Anyways, I'm going to watch the sunrise, moonset, and pull up the anchor that's not doing anything right now. Start heading that way. Around the point over there. And go drive down to the Flaming Gorge in a couple of days for another put in. I'll have to find a hot shower somewhere between here and there. Now that I got a fish in my belly, it's not nearly as irritating as a noise. Oh. Now that I got a fish in my belly, it's not so irritating when I hear them jump out there. All the frost is drying. And I'm going to turn the camera off. Coffee time. If you ever get the chance, try this. It's awesome. Especially on the middle of a lake. As calm as this one is. Halfway through my paddle back to reality.
Well, it's almost all cleaned up. Now I gotta find someone to grab the wheelchair and someone to help me put it on top of the car. Still got some putting away to do. Anyways, I'm all done. I told you that plenty of times. I think Nora's playing with a rock. Good figure. Where's a stick at? Go get a stick. Off to the Flaming Gorge.